Bobby Halliday here, coming at you live from the bathroom. At the The Okay, the reason why I'm censoring the Hit Factory is because we're not really supposed to be here. We have not officially moved in yet, but there's a lot of progress being made probably a little earlier than it should be. A lot of the progress that has been made has been beautification. That's not a big deal, but there are some major changes that we do want to make to this building, like removing some walls, adding some walls, stuff like that. We have to make sure that we are to code, and in order to do that, it all has to be written down by an engineer, an architect, and sent into the city blah 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 tons of red tape i've talked a little bit about it before but right now i am coming to you with a heavy heart and it's because we can't really do too much right now without the city first giving us our certificate of occupancy and what that means is we're delayed a little bit uh we have to stay in the old office and a lot of the stuff that i put in here a lot of the sets that i've built they have to be taken down or at least made it look like it's not gonna be a permanent thing and it hasn't really been here. Um, if you look around, these are functioning sets and supposedly we're not really allowed to have functioning sets. So I have to make them not functioning sets. Basically have to tear everything down a little bit, make it look like it's just storage. Basically, remove everything, uh, turn this into somewhat of a clean slate, uh, then we can get the uh, approvals that we need, and then move it all back in here. Thankfully, it's taken a lot of time to design all this and buy the equipment, open the equipment, set everything up, um, but if I want to tear it all down, store it, in like one or two spaces throughout the building. Thankfully, that's probably only gonna take a day and then maybe another two, three days to set back up. It's not that big of a deal, but we don't wanna be slapped with hefty fines. So the next two months or so, we are going to play it safe, do everything by the book and make sure we're not scrooby dude in the yeah, I shouldn't say that. And make sure we don't go to jail. <laughs> Who would actually go to jail? Probably me, whatever. So over the next like four weeks or so, I'm gonna be taking all this down. That's not gonna be interesting. Um, but when we slap it all back together, that could be pretty intense. That's gonna be a really intense week, all hands on deck, lots of work being done. So all this equipment should probably be consolidated. Uh, the stands probably need to be like, collapsed and stashed maybe in the middle maybe not so much on the shelves uh, i'm not really sure what the what the what the line is exactly that that'll need to be taken down this will need to be taken down if not completely taken out of the building then at least just collapsed and set on the floor to make it look like work has not been done work is not being done people are not currently in here yeah that'll have to be taken away this needs to be removed that needs to be put away these frippin' barrels full of flammable liquids should probably be removed. These computers need to be turned off. All this should be tucked away. Sorry, new money gang. The desks are inoperable. Those can stay. I am praying to God that the psych wall can stay because it's screwed and glued to the wall. I think I can get away with the pipe hanging from the ceiling. It is definitely like a construction type thing. It's it's not a major improvement or renovation. It's just hanging there. Tools are probably fine. I mean, we are renovating. We're not occupying. The doors are being fixed and that actually needs to happen. Oh, that doesn't change the plans. This awesome TV can stay, but the couch in front of it definitely looks like someone's living room, so that probably needs to be stored somewhere else. Maybe we can put a tarp on it or something. My office is gonna have to go. Thankfully, it's quite mobile. 
not. Uh, yeah, the mini fridge is gonna have to go. That's where I keep all my snackage. I definitely occupied this room, so all that's gonna have to go. The room I'm most concerned with is this one, the BitBoy Crypto Studio. This is the one I've spent the most time on and I wanted this to be flawless and it will be flawless one day soon but I did hang some sound dampeners in the ceiling I put sound dampeners on the wall those won't be a problem at all like that's that's fine but this right here the C40 pipe that's hanging in the ceiling that holds those uh, backdrop lights they might not like that I don't know there's a lot of gray area and I don't want anything to get kicked back and delay us from getting in this building any longer. So that might have to come down. I'm gonna ask around, maybe do a little more research. The acoustical fabric that I put up, pipe and drape, I put this up as just a, an acoustical test. That can come down, it's not that big of a deal. The things that they cannot take away from us. We've got fresh carpet and it looks great. We've got fresh paint on all the walls and it looks great. We've got cables run inside the walls, completely legal. We've got fresh ceiling tiles. Completely legal. And let's not forget, flawlessly spotless bathroom. At least one. So besides all of the frustration, which has been a lot, uh, we have only been delayed probably two, three months. Uh, but still, that's three months of not being able to expand and hire more people because we just don't have the space. So with that being said, listen, City of Ackworth, if you're watching, Let's speed this along because we chose you because we like this city. We have friends and family here. I've lived close by for 20 plus years of my life. TJ grew up here in Ackworth and we wanna get moved in so we can run a multi-million dollar company in your city. There's money to be spent here. There's taxes to be paid. Don't be surprised if the hit factory alone boosts your economy as well as Cabela's did. So there's your update. Tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on a pine. If you wanna touch my please use caution.